Hey, what's going on guys, it's Caleb, and today I have a pretty quick, simple, and easy After Effects tutorial that's gonna be going over a scribble text animation. And one of the cool things about this, and I think the most cool thing, is that you can use any font that you want and vector objects from Illustrator. Uh, just you have to make sure that you're using the auto trace feature inside of After Effects, and um, that will get it for you right away. Just make sure it's a vector that After Effects can pick it up very easily, and it will create those masks for you. And um, all right, this this thing took like three minutes for me to put together, so I'm gonna try to do this quickly. And uh, keep in mind that you do not need any drawing experience to make this happen. This is done with fonts and objects. No drawing. If you're like me, you can't draw at all, so you have to find like workarounds all the time for for drawing. And this is one of them to get this like hand animated uh, frame by frame look. Uh, so let's get started. Control N to make a new composition. We'll do 1920 by 1080. 29.97 frames per second, cool. Um, let's just shorten this timeline up because we don't need to be that long. We'll just take it to about a second, yep, cool. And uh, we're just gonna do Control Y on our keyboard to make a nice white background and then Control T. And keep in mind, like I said, you can do this totally, it's totally fine to do this with vector objects from Illustrator, so text, uh, icons, logos, anything at all that you do inside of Illustrator can be imported into After Effects and using that auto trace feature it will make you your masks. But uh, for this example, I just used the text feature inside of After Effects. So let's type out tutorial. And I don't know if using a stroke or not will like change the outcome of the effect. I've only used a stroke, but I'm sure it will work just with just as fine with the uh, with a fill. But I don't have any motivation to try it with the with the fill right now. So stroke is just fine for me. Um, so there you go. And now this is very important because the effect that we're going to be doing needs masks. And uh, I'll show you why it needs masks in a second, but uh, just make sure you right click on your text and you do create mask from text. And you can also use the uh, auto trace feature. So if you do that, auto trace it, it will come up with your masks. Um, I found it easier to just use the uh, built in After Effects with, for text using the create mask from text. Works better for me, I like it. Um, but like I said, if you're doing this with vector objects, use that auto trace feature it will get your mask perfectly and just as well as the create mask from text option I, I mean i don't know just as well but it should work fine um i wouldn't see an issue with it but there you go now we have our text and outlines and as you can see the text like disappears and if you want to check out how your text looks in the outline thing i uh, just look up fill in your effects and add that onto your outlines and uh, you'll see it turns red um, but the fill won't matter when we apply this effect this is just to see how your text looks and make sure that it looks fine. Um, so yeah, cool. I'm going to turn on rasterizing so that the uh, text doesn't lose its quality. So there we go. And now, let's look up Scribble in our effects because there's actually an effect inside of After Effects called Scribble that I don't see many people use and I think it's a pretty cool effect. And uh, as you can see, our text disappears again. And the reason why is because this scribble overrides our fill and that fill just becomes completely irrelevant because like I said earlier, it kind of like the fill doesn't matter. That's just to see what your text looks like. And now we add the black color. It's kind of like a charcoal black, not exactly gray, not exactly black color. And uh, as you can see, our, our T is the only thing that is being scribbled. So. To change that, we need to change our scribble from single mask to all masks. So now all of our text is being put into the scribble effect and perfect. Now we just need to customize it. So I like to make the stroke width pretty, you know, pretty thick. It kind of looks like we have noise on our text right now, which is kind of a cool effect. I don't know why, but this reminds me of the, uh, the cover of the Where the Wild Things Are book. Um, I don't know why. I might be totally wrong, but I feel like that's kind of what it looks like. It looks kind of like furry. I don't know, it's interesting. Um, but, so I like to make the stroke width kinda thick, so six looks good. And you can get really creative instead of the stroke options. So, curviness, turn that up and that will, uh, you know, bring that noise, make it a little bit louder. And uh, the curviness variation, you can get more uh, negative space. And I think working with negative space on this effect is pretty cool uh, and will give you better results because you need to make sure that your uh, viewer can actually read the text. So using that negative space to fill in the gaps there uh, works very well. Um, spacing, if you want more negative space or less, that's really where this is going to, uh, to give you the creative control over that. And the variation also gives you control over that negative space. Uh, and I'm kind of sick right now too, so my voice is cracking all over the place and I sound kind of nasally. Um, <laughs> I have a really, like, not bad cold, but my throat's pretty sore, so. I sound like, uh, I sound awful, so. I'm sorry about that, so uh, 
I mean, just get creative, you know? Just do whatever you want to. Um, for me, uh, I like the lines to be a little more thick. And I think I like this how it is, you know? We kind of have this like shaded in a scribble effect. And let's talk about how we can get our negative space inside of our letters back. As you can see in this tutorial thing here, um, we have the negative space in our O, R, and A. It's in there. But if you look at our other one, the O, R, and the A, they're just completely solid black. They're not, uh, the emptiness of the O, R, and A isn't there. So how do we get that back? Very simple. Duplicate your tutorial outlines layer, how many ever, like how many times you need to get the negative space back. So we need our negative space back in our O, R, and A. So we need to make three duplicates. So we have one, or one, two, and three. And we're going to isolate our mask. So if we take a look at our masks inside of our main layer, we have all of our letters separate into masks. And we have two, the letters that have their own negative space, so the O, R, and A, they are all, uh, there's two different masks of them. The reason for that is because with this uh, outlining uh, thing, the create mask from text feature, it puts our negative space into its own mask, which is very, very nice. And um, if it didn't do that, we would be kind of screwed with this. And that would suck, but thank you After Effects for making this happen uh, because uh, I was kind of worried about this at first. But what you want to do is just find wherever that mask is inside of your outlines and then go in and find it inside of your duplicate. And so right here, our yellow inside of the O, that mask is our negative space. So we want to just delete every single mask besides that one and put it onto its own layer. And inside of our main layer, just delete that because now it's on its own layer, right? So then we go in and we find the next one. So our uh, next one's gonna be that R. So we need to find the second duplicate of the R. So there we have the inside of the R is on that kind of like periwinkle mask. So we just, again, isolate the, uh, the, the mask there. And then one more time on the A, we need to find that, uh, that A. And in the A it's there and that blue is going to be the uh, the inside of the A there, and then just delete all of that. And now if we go back here. We do need to actually delete that. So there we go. Now all of our layers that have the negative space on them are into their all, all the masks that have the negative space are all into their own layers. So what we do is we turn them all to the same color as our background. So if you're working with like a yellow background or a red background or whatever you need to make sure it's the right color of your background. And you could probably like set this to like subtract maybe. No, that doesn't seem to work. Uh, it won't work because of the fill of the scribble. Um, unless you go around and you kind of mess with this, maybe you could, uh, I'm not sure. You just have to mess with it. But for now, like if you're just working on a solid color, it'll work fine. If you're working on a gradient, it might not work as well. It might look kind of like weird. Um, just because it's trying to use, it's kind of mimic negative space. So it's supposed to look like the, uh, there's like holes in our text. And if it's not matching our background perfectly, then I mean, I don't know, you have to kind of mess with that yourself, uh, kind of figure out how to make that happen. But for me, what worked was uh, isolating the, uh, the masks into their own layers and changing them to be the solid color of our background. There you go. And let's talk about how to find that frame by frame animation look, because if we preview our thing right now, it looks like this, which looks kind of cool. Um, it just looks really fast and looks kind of like, it doesn't look hand drawn to me. It, it looks like it's melting almost. Um, so when I looked at this, I was like, there has to be a way to do this. So if you look into the wiggle type, we have smooth, static, and jumpy. What you wanna do is you wanna change that to jumpy, right? And what that's gonna do is it will, I should've changed it to jumpy off the start because I have to go through and change all of them. But what happens is it is going to make it jump from one scribble to another scribble. And it's going to make it have that hand animated look. And if you wanna make it go slower, then you're gonna turn down your wiggles per second. So right now it's on 10, so it's going pretty fast, but not too fast. It looks hand animated to me. Um, so yeah, just mess around with that. And static, if you wanna know what static is, it's just, it, you look at our uh, the inside of our A there, it's just staying static, it's not moving at all. The A, take a look at that, the inside of the A is one single frame of the scribble. So you could probably do something with that too. Uh, and the smooth option, I don't know. It looked cool, I guess, but it wasn't what, I was looking for and like whenever I, I, I see this effect I kind of imagine it in like a Starbucks advertisement or something 
it seems like an indie effect to me. So if you're working with like indie music or a coffee shop or anything like that, I think this effect is for you. I actually sell this inside of a Walmart. I sell this like effect with the text being scribbled in on a Walmart billboard inside of the store. And I guess I got inspiration to try to figure out how to do this in After Effects because the first thing that came to my mind was the scribble effect. And uh, it's pretty easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And also one thing, I have a donation page set up in the description for, from uh, via paypal.me, I think it's called. So if you guys enjoyed the content and you wanna help me out on purchasing better equipment because Currently, I'm trying to invest in some uh, directing equipment, like a new camera, and um, a Ronin, and lenses, and all that crap. And I'm also trying to get a better computer and laptop and all that stuff, so if you guys want to help me out with that, there is a donation page in the description, but don't feel... I'm, I'm not trying to force you to, but, you know, that's there if you guys enjoy the content. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this After Effects tutorial. Very simple stuff. Uh, that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next one.